When we first started the fit out, the first job was the doors. Because we needed to secure the boat, we needed to make the boat impregnable. And we thought, yeah, the doors, they won't take long. <laughs> and we were wrong. We were really, really wrong. Now these here are the doors that wouldn't die. The doors that went on and on. Now we built them as a separate unit. They're actually traditional narrowboat doors. Um, there's 12 of them in total. Two are on the four side hatches. There's the stern hatches and there's the back doors as well. Now, the tricky thing about these is they're designed to fit into the empty metal hatches that were part of the hull, uh, and they also have to be like stuck in place with this, uh, this quite horrible marine sealant called Sycaflex. Now, it's hard enough making a door, because everything has to be very precisely measured and cut, but then they also had to fit into hatches that weren't always a consistent size, and then they had awkward angles as well. And as a result, life got complicated pretty quickly. So underneath this um, rather complicated traditional narrowboat door exterior is basically just a, a shaker style door. Um, this is an inset panel. Um, this is a recycled flooring, oak flooring. Um, we sort of cut grooves around here so that, um, and set the panel inside. Um, and it's just got a couple of extra crossbars at the top and bottom to extend the door. Um, and then these just bits of uh, solid oak flooring that um, we've stuck on top um, and screwed from behind. These weren't much fun to put in. Um, because they're inset into steel, um, and the steel has lots of um, sort of weld, welding lumps on it, um, we had to do a lot of sort of hacking away at the backs, yeah, and sort it, of around the edges. It took a long time, didn't it? It was <laughs> yeah. every single time we thought, "Oh yeah, we got it, we got it." We hadn't got it. Yeah, needed a bit more planing and rasping. Um, but once they were to size, um, <laughs> and we did actually get them stuck in there by accident a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When, when we were just like testing to see if they fitted, it was like, "Yeah, they yeah. fit." But we, we just we eventually figured out that we needed to put a bit of ribbon behind it to sort of pull them out. Again. Yes. Um, we then um, got a load of sicker flex in a big sort of uh, in a big one of those big guns, squirty guns, um, and went around the edges and just sort of smooshed them in. Um, but then we sort of, we screwed them in and uh, covered the screw holes with Sikaflex as well. And uh, these side hatches are also known as duck feeders. So yes, and the other fun bit of fitting the doors was that, of course, half the boat faces the water. So we were having to put doors in on a side where we couldn't just stand outside and do it easily. And uh, the solution that we eventually sort of came up with was me being here, leaning down and supporting the doors so they didn't fall in the canal in February. And it was really cold. But I guess we got there in the end, so... The swan is making a terrifying growling noise. I know, they're really unsettling. <laughs> they're really unsettling. It's just like they've just come up and they're like, Give me some bread. Give me some bread. Okay, almost there. Oh my god, the swan is circling. Right, okay. <laughs> Oh, where are you? Oh, oh you're there. Yeah. I'm He's sorry. already coming here. I got it wrong. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then um, this is just plumped on top and screwed from the back. Sorry, I'll try that again. <laughs> that's, that's fine. It's not a problem. Right. Okay, Emma, please tell us the wonder of the doors. <laughs> Um, and then this is just um, a solid panel of wood that's planked on, planked on <laughs> And you were doing so well! You were doing so well. It's okay, look, breathe, breathe, it's fine. You're, you're a beautiful, confident woman and you can do this. Um, and then these just 
bits of fur, solid oak flooring that um, we've stuck on top um, and screwed from behind. I, I, I liked very much the way you emphasized screwed from behind. <laughs> oh, sorry, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs>